What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Please, please, I need to see the red. Thank you, thank you. And in this one, we're gonna be making a 50 foot long leash for this dog. These are the things you will need. I'll throw the links down in the description. You will need a hollow braided poly rope this is hollow through the inside that's where these splicing tools come in we decided to get the 3 8 by 50 foot the 1 4 seemed a little bit too thin for crypto so we went ahead and got the thicker one and you'll need one of these heavy duty buckles if you do have smaller dogs the 1 4 is perfectly fine this would be the 1 4 right here for all you people that want to let your dog off leash but aren't really sure how they'll do long rope training there are stages the first stage you have to be the shortest of course second stage medium and third stage is longest you know we don't really care about no stages so we're gonna go straight to the third stage and make a 50 foot long leash let's get started 50 feet I have no idea how long that is Okay, yeah, that's pretty long. I believe it's this one. Forget the frisbee players. Grab the end of the rope right here. If your rope is kind of spread out, you're gonna have to take a lighter and melt the plastic and then stick it with your fingers. So we bet one day. Go ahead and take that end and shove it in through the splicing tool. In order to hold the leash, you're gonna need a handle. Fold the rope in half, take your splicing tool, measure out about a foot, and shove it in through the middle of the, just like that. Take your splicing tool and shove it in through the middle of the rope. You're gonna be feeding the rope found the best way to feed the rope through you want to put it on the ground and holding the tip press firmly and after that you want to just stretch the bottom out but once you have it all threaded through and there's no more rope the splitter will be separate and that's when you can remove it What is it? Ah, there you go. Now, to make sure the rope doesn't move, all you're gonna do is go ahead and make a knot. Boom! That's one side done. That's not going anywhere. You wanna do the exact same thing on the other side using the clip. Start off by burning it and sticking the corners together. Once you have a foot of distance, insert it insert it through the inside I'm really interested on seeing Crypto's reaction on the long leash. First, long leash experience with Crypto. Will I be training him proper long leash? Perhaps, but I would have to make shorter leashes. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a knot. And that's it, we should be done. If you want a better idea of when the leash will be ending, you could always just make some knots at the end. That's it guys, we made ourselves a long leash. Let's put that thing on him. This is fully extended. If it was to hit something sharp, I'm pretty sure it would like just rip in half maybe. I'm <laughs> Slow down! Oh! <laughs> Go boy! Hey! Why are you running? This way! Go boy! <laughs> Since they're so far away, they could get easily tangled. Look at him, he does not want to come. Oh shit! Oh, I guess this is where the training comes in. He probably wouldn't just run out full speed. If he keeps doing it and he just hurts himself, he's gonna learn. Come here, Crypto! Come here! Come here! <laughs> crypto! Is that Crypto? Is that Crypto? <laughs> Look at him! situations like this where the leash is just dragging I'm not sure how well it'll do you guys have seen some of his off-leash videos and he does absolutely perfect he just killed the tree did he just kill a tree crypto oh no 
he found a hole. No, I did not find a hole. Good boy. Slow down. Slow down. Oh my. Of course, when I'm mushing, I'm not going to have this dog 50 feet in front of me. I'm not going to bother to try and hold the leash. I'm just going to let it hang. <laughs> Since we're approaching public, crypto, sit. I believe it's as thick as it needs to. I'm pretty sure the dog won't rip it. As long as there's nothing sharp, I don't see any chance of it ripping. The one fourth would be a little bit thinner than this. So if you have a smaller dog, if you have a medium sized dog, the three eighth is perfect. You're free, you're free. He's like, I'm going to take a piss over here. <laughs> Do you like the long leash? Look at that. We got the fruit. I know you guys love the fruit. We got Crypto on the good old long leash. No external mic on this one. This is raw GoPro footage. But the fruit. What the hell are you doing? Second time I brought him on it. I should probably check it over every time, make sure everything's good. Good boy, the rat. Good boy. <laughs> Watch out with the rat. <laughs> This little grass acts like a little parachute is extra weight. Come on, Durant. This is the third day. This dog only does reasonably well in walks after he's been pretty severely exercised. We brought the rat with us. I know you guys really love to see the rat. Dude, there's something. What is that? Leave it alone. Leave it. Go. We're gonna do what's right. Put all our mushing equipment and let Crypto decide what he wants. You wanna go run? You wanna go run? <laughs> We got the drift trike and we got the longboard. Which one? You want the longboard or the drift trike or the longboard? Which one, Crypto? Choose. You wanna go right? Which one? Which one? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Drift trike, skateboard. I think he wants the longboard. Good boy. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.